It's a sad day in WoW history. We have to say goodbye to one of our closest friends. As you can see here from the current Cataclysm Rogue Talent Calculator, you are only available to go into a different tree after spending 31 talent points in the one you selected. Now this may not seem like a lot, 31, but keep in mind that you only get 41. Once you get your 31 talent points to unlock a different tree, you can only spend 10 talent points in that next tree. This is effectively the death of hybrid specs. Now why do you ask? Why are hybrid specs so good? Why are they so awesome that we need them? Well, it's not that they're awesome. It's more about creativity and originality. When somebody creates a new hybrid spec, they feel like they're unique, not like they're forced to do something. When somebody is a hybrid spec, they're not the best at one thing, they're a jack of all trades, if you will. Which can be fun for a lot of people. And has been. The cool thing was that it was about choice. Take the guided blizzard path, or go nuts and make your own. Let's look at a couple examples from the past, and reflect on classic hybrid specs. Pre-BC, Vanilla WoW, the original World of Warcraft, whatever you want to call it. One of the best warlock specs back then was SM Ruin. You went down in the Affliction Tree and got Shadow Mastery, and then went into Destruction and got Ruin. This enabled you to have strong and powerful dots, yet also crit insane with your Shadow Bolts and Immolates, and was an insanely fun battleground spec. This is the spec my warlock was pre-BC, and that's the character I played. I played it very casually as I had a lot of school, and I only got up to rank 8, but it was still very, very fun. Burning Crusade, a mage named Albus, was famous for not going with the cookie cutter frost spec and sticking with his elementalist spec and having fun in the best part of WoW, which is World PvP. And he also owned a lot of top names while doing it. Credit to Albus and his hybrid spec. Also worthy of mention are Burning Crusade's Dream State Resto Druids, Burning Crusade and Early Wrath's Shockadin Paladins. Hunters who go half and half in either trees. And of course, rogues. The top spec, Wrath of the Lich King, Mutilate Prep. Oh, and uh, one more from Burning Crusade, I forgot to mention. My original hybrid spec. I got Viger and Blade Flurry. This allowed for Seal Fate. Double the combo point generation on critical strikes, plus more energy with Viger, and I also had faster attacks with Blade Flurry, and a lot of attack bonuses from combat. This was the one-on-one -on -one melee ponage and group ponage situation battleground spec of mine, and it raped Sausage Face. Flash forward to right now. Nearing the death of Hyrule Specs, emerges one more spec of mine. A continuation. A younger brother of the Viger and Blade Flurry spec. I present to you Mutilate in Venom and Blade Flurry. The spec is fucking epic.
Chill.